Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy is Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. And today we're <laughs> going to talk about always be making progress. Yes. Or ghost. Yeah. There, there's no... There's no halfway measures. It's either hell thing. yes or hell no. Yeah. And and the the idea came to me, because these are things that we know, and we kind of share the idea of always be making progress here and there. Yeah. Um, and But the reason was, was a girl had written in, not to us, but to another, another source, that she was doing online dating, but it bothered her that guys were always trying to get her off the app and get her phone number. Yeah. And then go to her, because... Two or three or four texts in, they'd want to get her off that, which is what you do. It's what you do. What does yeah. she think she's there exactly. for? And, and and even the respondent was like, well, you're here to move forward. Right. Not to just stay on the app and talk to people because that's a chat service. You know, the idea, because, and she was like, well, I don't want to give just a bunch of strangers my phone. Well, you're going to have to take some risks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So a lot of these things, and you know, where that girl's head really is, who knows? Because people get, there's a lot of people out there. People get crazy ideas about how this works. Well, she's either just on there for the sake of the attention that she gets from, or the validation she gets from being swiped positively on, yeah. or she watches way too much crime television and is like, Thinking that everybody's some still, yeah some serial killer or yeah. something. It's like just block them from your phone if you yeah. if you they it, give you the all creeps. Of all like, of it's crazy. That's but again, ridiculous. You deal with a lot, and and you're going to deal with it at almost every level of dating. Right. You know? So the thing is, and what she doesn't understand, what guys will reach out, and we talk about this when we start going. You know, guys will reach out to us, and they'll be like. You know, I'm on my third or fourth day. You know, do I keep moving? And we're like, well, is the sex moving forward? Are you know, you are you moving towards, towards sex? sex? Yeah. So let's talk about always be progressing. Yeah. And it starts teaching you not to allow girls to waste your time. Yeah. But you need practice. You know what I mean? You need practice. Don't just ghost at the slightest provocation. But always be making progress. If you've got a girl on the app, and she won't get off the app and move to phone, dump her. Yeah. If she's on the phone. She's just wasting your time. If she's on the phone and won't move to a meetup, dump her. Cut her off. Wasting your time. Do not become chat buddies. I mean, you should know within a couple exchanges, you know, and you need to, and girls that are out there to meet men will meet men. Yeah. They will go, okay, I'll meet up with you for a drink. Yeah. You know, you'll know within three or four exchanges if you, you go, hey, you know, how about Thursday night? I'll meet you at the bar, blah, blah, blah. You know, and she goes, okay. Yeah. Or she'll say, no, but I'm available next Thursday. Right. You I take that. I can't Tuesday, but I could on Thursday or but whatever. Don't, don't let these girls string you along where they go, well, I got to wash my hamster or, you know. And, <laughs> and if you deal with moms... You do have to give some leeway. And they'll, they'll tell you. They'll say, hey, I don't have a sitter. And sometimes because girls are dumb, you have to go, well, do you think you know when you'll have a sitter? Right. They'll say, hey, Thursday. You know, I mean, so you just have to like kind of, if they don't always like make a suggestion, sometimes you kind of have to prompt them because they're girls. And they're they're not going to take the initiative for anything. Right, right. Um, but you kind of have to learn, and you'll learn through experience how to kind of calibrate it, whether they're interested or not. Yeah. You know. I will say, though, I mean, you're saying three or four exchanges. That's pretty quick. That's quick. Yes, so, yes, yes. So I, I want to make sure that it's very clear that he's talking three or four exchanges. Once you've really, like, what, streamlined your process... Once you're more like at a late beginner, early intermediate stage and are really are getting really good responses yeah. with your with your messaging you know, on the Correct. apps. So I would say more like a couple of different like what times of talking. You know, like you can tell in the first conversation if you would like to have a little bit of a second one. Because you don't want to string it out. No. Like, and be text buddies, yeah. even off the front end. But you want enough to kind of 
pique her interest a little bit. Yeah, but and he does have a good point. Yeah, and then you have another conversation maybe the next day or, or even later that evening or something like that, whatever the case may be. And Bunny has a good point because this is also when you're newer. Yeah. It can help you kind of like learn which girls are actually interested. Because if a girl's not interested, she won't respond to your second message. True. You know, but you will but you have to have, this is what we say, you know, in the beginning, it's like you take a set when you're in the gym to failure. Yeah. You take each of these girls until they either say, fuck yes, I'll meet up with you, or fuck no, or exactly. fuck you. you know exactly. I mean? So that way you get repetitions of, and then over time you kind of start getting the nuances. It, it's a gut instinct. It is. It's from experience that you'll start saying, and I'm talking like four to months, four months, six months, you know. Sure. And that's where you start fewer messages and you get right into like, hey, you want to meet up on the bus, you know. Right. Why don't you meet me here at this exactly. time, this night, whatever. And it seems like the universe works with you. Girls can tell when you're new and they make allowances and they can tell when you've been a player and they make allowances. You know, I mean. Yeah. So if you are newer and you're taking a little bit longer, girls understand that, you know. And then if you come across through your messaging that you've been around the block a few times, um, you can ask them out within two or three messages. And they're like, it's either shit or get off the pot. And if they're right. interested, they'll let you know. They'll go, oh, okay. Yeah. You know? So that's that's always moving forward. Then if they meet up and you either have sex and then you decide what you want to do from yeah. that point on, or you can go one date and keep it short and go to a second date. Just kind of like the, the messaging, you know, yeah. if you're not too confident in closing on first dates. And it kind of gives you a feel for the girl. Always have a time limit, you know, be it 45 minutes. Yeah. You know, an hour. 30 minutes isn't really much time to get to know somebody. It's not. But no more than an hour if you're going to do two dates. And then on the second date, you go for the close. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that way, and then the guys reach out because they're younger. They're dealing with a culture that's a little less sexually um, progressive or yeah. promiscuous. And... We're always like, is the sex getting a little bit closer to sex? You know, are you progressing? Right. You know, each time you guys get together, because if you kiss and you've got her clothes off, and then the next time she won't take her clothes off, you're going in the wrong direction. Right, right. You know? And is that's she, the best way I can explain it. Is she continuing to give you more and more indicators of interest? Yes. Touching you more, reaching yeah. out by text or phone yeah. more. You know, all kinds of different Greater ways. Greater intimacy. Yeah. 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 And that's how, you know, you always should always be making progress. Like we always say, always be closing, always be selling. With your, with your dating continuum, you should always be making progress, moving forward. Yeah. And when you don't, I mean, you, and again, you give yourself time to get good at this stuff. Right. It takes exposure and time. But you will get a gut instinct to when it's time to ghost or yeah. to just pull out, you know, because girls will waste your time willingly, you know, because they don't know any better. But on the front end, when guys are in the learning mode, I want to be real clear again if you ghost too quickly, you're going to miss out. A lot of times it's because of your own lack of self-confidence and feeling like they're taking advantage of you and things That's like true. that. So truly, if you feel like if you feel like you're still getting your feet under you here, go until failure. Yeah. Go until until, you know, she throws the equivalent of the drink in your face or, you know, fucks you because yeah. That Either way you one. know where what things are working and yeah. what things are not. But you have to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. And that means even if it's a self-confidence issue on your part, even if you haven't had a lot of luck with women in the past, that was in the past. Now you have to push the boundaries a little bit. Yeah. And Bunny has a good point. You you will, a lot of guys, their ego yeah. won't it's allow them deal. to kind of like give it a... Um, they don't want a girl to like get the upper hand. So right. they're all concerned about that instead of like fucking her. Yeah. You know, I mean, when they could actually fuck her. Yeah. They just haven't been patient enough. Yeah. It will require some, some patience 
it's a it's a learning curve. Yeah. And um, and always be progressing. And, always and you always forward. learn a lot from from just Each pushing one. through it. Yeah. 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 And you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna be like, oh my god, I blew that. You're gonna miss. You're gonna miss. Sure. You know, and that's just part of it. But we all do it. There's nothing you will experience that the greatest players haven't experienced hundreds, if not thousands, of times. Right. It's just part of it. Right. You know, and nobody remembers any of it. No. You know, so don't take it personal, and don't don't let it you know weigh you down. But learn from it, and learn that way your it. next your next you know when you're run, running game with the next girl, and that's why we always say have a lot of girls. Don't ever just be going one on one with no. A girl. You know, if one girl flakes out, that's okay. You got two or three more that you got to talk to anyway. That's right. So always have girls, you know, in the pipeline. And you'll get better at this. It just takes time. It does. All right. Um, I will say your your uh, dating system book yes. is the premier layout system for exactly what we're talking yeah. about. Making sure that you know what to do at each step from from stranger Contact. to fucking. Yeah. So if you have not picked up your dating system yet, it just it's it takes all the guesswork out of what you need to be doing in order for this kind of thing for always always progressing through your dates. Guys like structure. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of like your workout. You know, you do three exercises, three sets of ex, ex you know each exercise. And you know what you need to do going in. And that's yeah. what your dating system does. It gives you an outline or a structure that you can plug your personality, who you are, what you like to do mm -hmm. into, and where you're at. Um, and then you can just follow it. And you, you know what it's working. You People, know? Guys have been closing yeah. left and right because of this program. Yeah. And we want you to have that same good fortune. Yeah. Less guesswork, more sex. <laughs> it's you know, a that's win -win. all you can ask for. And so... It, we'll leave a link below, and if you guys like this podcast, like it, share it, tell your friends about us. Leave comments below where yeah. you've had some wins or if you've ran into the losses sometimes. If you can share it, it helps other guys. It does. And again, you'll hear people jumping in going, oh, yeah, that happened to me last week. Yeah. Yeah. It's we, true. It, it might have been the same girl. Way. And a lot, of, a lot of guys feel like they're the only ones dealing with this problem. Yeah. And you're not. You're not, not alone. Shot, no. So we want to hear your stories. We want we want you to win. Bye.